Welcome back to Metroid Prime Hunters. Let's get off this planet. There's yeah. too many hunters. You think we head to the Vesper Defense Outpost, but nope. Today we're heading to Arcterra. But dude, there's two hunters there. I know, but they have things we need there. It does make sense. We just got the fire weapon. Might as well go back to ice. We gotta get our final weapon of the game. God, that sounds so weird. I know, right? <laughs> the final shooty bang bang. So here's one thing you can do. You can just jump down here, but you can jump while in midair, and that reduces fall damage, I guess. So that's like the equivalent of Mario's butt stomp. Sort of, huh. but I guess you could count it as like a space jump of sorts. I guess. You can sneeze, dude. It's okay. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna get upset. God, I did not want to see the audio spike on that one. <laughs> just let it go! Like, next time you just go, WATCH YOU! That's probably what it would end up sounding like. <laughs> so we got some quad droids to beat up here. Oh yeah, these disgusting things. The little moles made of Metroid. It, I checked, I think it's like reptile DNA. You can call it whatever you want, but they're kind of like... It's, it, yeah, it's it's reptile and leech DNA uh -huh. mixed together. And next you're gonna tell me a liquor from Resident Evil is an inside-out toad. Is it an inside-out toad? It's an inside-out toad, yeah. Okay, right. It's very disgusting, very horrifying, and I love it. You got that his. I mean, I, I thought Mario's supposed to be an E-rated game. Oh, you're telling me the toads are... Oh, yeah! Uh, Arctic Spawn! <laughs> so we can't have a mini-boss without that also being reskinned and retooled. Just reusing the basics. Yeah, need to pad out this game as long as we can. Yeah. But, but this time, you don't have any cover to help you out with. Except for that little. Except block. for this bit yeah, of cover except back for the, here. This, right, yeah. Oh my. Well, okay, he just shot you through it. Awesome. The thing, the thing about the ice is that it can freeze you, which is a bit more annoying than just having the fire uh, take a few uh, seconds of your health. Same same deal, though. Just fire the magma into his open mouth and they'll melt him pretty quickly. Is he actually taking longer to collect a snowball because snow is heavier? But wait, magma, magma would be heavier. It might be the frame rate? Yeah, the frame rate just took a dip. Because this is a bigger room Aye! and we've got like, all these particle effects, the smoke and all that, but oh. him getting all the snow, it's just... Ah, stop it! And now it just sped back up because, you know, the monster's covering all the other polygons. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Open up, I've got a lifesaver! <laughs> a high-speed lifesaver shot into your mouth. Please watch your teeth. Oh, one more. But one more. All right, last one should do it. For real this time. Oh, come on! What? I want to shoot your shoulder, I want to shoot your mouth! God damn. Ah, hello there! Ah. Oh, there. Alright. So killing him gives us our final weapon. Ice arrows? This... This bad boy is the Imperialist. Well, that just sounds awesome. They saved this one for last because, oh shit, the game's kind of broken now. Sniper rifle? Sniper rifle. <laughs> Hell yeah! So if you press R, or double tap the Imperialist logo on the screen there, you can zoom in! Okay. Oh yeah. my god, everything is so screwed. So we go oh, up here, we just take this little thing and you shoot that guy. And it makes a little lift appear. Huh. What is... Flavor? What flavor of damage does this thing do? This is clever. So I uh, go over here, but uh, you can scan this ship portal over here. So now I can get across that force field from my ship. Oh, but as for flavor of damage, uh, I'd say probably a very spicy cherry. Mmm, delicious. Oh, didn't need that. But now let's test it out. All right, so he uses the process to shoot that, and oh. no, just just take a little freeze damage. Just, it's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll survive. A little bit of recklessness, but uh, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll You've got okay. the energy. Got a third spawner somewhere. Up oh, there it is. And boom. And now let's take pot shots at the rest. Wow. So a lot of damage. Makes sense with a sniper rifle. 
Yep. Yeah, a lot of damage. Low uh, fire rate, though. Yeah, it's I noticed like... it takes a little uh, time to cool down a little bit. But for the sheer devastating damage and pinpoint accuracy, it's it's that's pretty disgusting. I mean, yeah. In who good, who wouldn't take way. advantage of that? Yeah. And well, who? Th that's loud and obnoxious. Could you like stop doing that? Yeah, let's not do that. Could anymore. you please stop? Yay! Scan that, and uh, it makes the electricity that's in front of the first artifact go away. But we still need the shield key to deactivate that force field. Man, all these specific polygons just bringing me back to the PS1 era a little bit. This does feel like a PS1 game, doesn't it? Just a little. Like, it certainly functions better than a PS1 game, but... Loads faster, too. Oh, yeah. Like, we're in the icy area... For some reason, images of PS1 The Grinch game just came back to me. We did a one-shot of that, <laughs> and I've always thought, what if I actually make that into a Christmas series? God, that'd be funny. There's apparently a catchphrase that's only for that game. He Grinched! <laughs> it's so cheesy, and I love it. So fire a missile down here, and oh, this no. whole pillar falls over! No! On you! Oh, wait, no. Perfect 10! It's a good thing that uh, didn't fall short. Would have been embarrassing. I was just thinking that. If it just was a couple inches shorter, you would just see it fall straight down and then Samus just goes, oh, shit. This takes us right back out here, though. Oh. All right. Now we can move on. It's all connected. And you have to have the specific sniper rifle shot to get and in the there. The red stain shall vanish, so shall the ancient Olympic power be manifest. Oh, okay. So if we collect all the, the power crystals here, or all the... All the weaponry, we're able to find ultimate power. That's all supposed to be a hint to, to the last boss. Do you have to swap weapons? We'll get there. Okay. We'll, we'll get there. Okay. So don't worry about that. We got two more octolets to get, so just, 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 just settle down. <laughs> settle the fuck down. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's sir to... Oh, you did say sir. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, good! Pump. <laughs> We go out this door. This takes us back up to the Frost Labyrinth. Those things look scary. I didn't like them. I don't want to go back to a labyrinth. No! Yeah, back here again. No! All I gotta do is just head north, though. Ah, just yeah. bypass everything. Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. Now, you may get stuck as you go through this door here. Just because this game is bad like that. <laughs> you can just boost through it or bomb through it, it's fine. Pew. Was that a delay? Probably. Or was it just like loading in the audio file? Huh. You get in this room, head left first. Hey! Universal expansion. Last one or next to last? Uh, that I believe is the... almost next to last? Okay, so we still have a few more. The next one is the next to last. Oh. Two left. See a greater Ithrak up there thinking that he's gonna get a the drop on me, but Hi. if I just fire a few more Hi. missiles, ah. not, a, not even a problem. <laughs> Got him! So here's our second artifact. Gotta find the shield key though, and we gotta do something special there. Scanning this terminal tells us that adjusting the optical spectrum may reveal the truth, meaning that we gotta find the spectral locks. Here's the first one. Oh, good. There's only three of them this time. Second just, one's right behind it. Just gotta go around and find some locks, oh my god. And the third one... Is right underneath it. Right back over here. So, is it around this point that they... kinda... didn't have too many ideas left? They're starting to run out? It's not until the next one that they just completely run out of time, space, and ideas. Okay. So something to look forward to is what you're telling me. Oh, sure. Ah, brilliant. And the ideas that they did have were pretty good, but... Mm -hmm. You know, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say good, but... Except for the tower and the eyeball and the fall damage and all the other fun quirks of Metroid Prime Hunters. See, I don't know. I just can't bring myself to hate this game too much. 
I have my grievances, I have my very, very vocal grievances. But, you know, is it a bad game? I... I don't think so. Guardians. Oh, well. Okay, now it's a bad game. <laughs> Up until this point, not too bad. I mean, am I an apologist? I mean, as far as I know, people don't, you know, loathe this game as much as other Metroid games have. That was have. a one-shot kill. Well, yeah, it was a headshot. And point blank. And it was probably, you know, stronger against him because he was just a regular guardian. That's awesome. Do that again more, please. Sure. Just walk up to a guardian, cap him in the head with a point blank sniper shot. What the? <laughs> brains everywhere. Do guardians have brains? They do now. That's my head cannon. All right. <laughs> well, we got to do something that I'm not proud of. Something that uh, nobody, you know, I, I just say it and you're going to groan angrily. We gotta go. All the, we gotta go all the way back to our ship. <laughs> all the way back to our ship. Why? Because we gotta get past that force field in this next room over here. Right. And to do that, we need the we need to do the ship portal. It's just. Wait. So I just realized, as you're heading back after getting the octolith, you won't be able to use the teleporter, which means we should find a way to take down that force field. Or we're just screwed. Yeah. Oh, damn it. No. Damn, there's, a gar there's a hunter here, too. Oh, wow. I haven't seen one of you guys in forever. It's Noxus. Hi, Noxus. Okay. Why don't you uh, Noxus this are you guys buffoonery mind? off? Such chicanery. Okay. Where are you at? Where you at? Get over here. I don't have time to deal with you. Attack. <laughs> Stop, please. Stop freezing me. Can you sniper shot him? His his freezing uh works better than most freezing does. It's like you're frozen for like a couple seconds longer. Open. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Oh, are we back? Yeah, we're back. Okay. We're here. They added a couple extra things to this tower though. Like there's a turret up there now. Who has a turret? Who would do that? Why would they do that? Please. Why would anybody do that to themselves? Or to anybody? Who sets up a turret at the midpoint of the tower? Why wouldn't you put it, like, right at the very end? Or right at the very beginning? No, oh, we Olympics are very, very intelligent, and our large brains tell you you wouldn't understand being such a smooth-brained, you tiny-brained individual. Apparently. Hey, Mr. Chad Brain, can you please explain why you put a turret in the midsection where people could just actively avoid it? There we are. So there's a couple of those uh, imperialist things to shoot up here. And... Right there is the mm -hmm. first one. If you get too close, it closes. Yep, there we go. Got him. Second one's over there. Got him. That deactivates the force field. Oh, it was that easy? Yep, then we dropped down because of it. Uh, well, it's fine. It's fine. See? Totally fine. This is me being fine with it. All right, uh, oh, not that way, this way. I think that's the only reason I don't think I would enjoy playing this, is because I get lost easily. Yeah, it's designed to make you get lost easily. And that's probably why I never finished the first Metroid Prime. I got lost. Well, here's an optional shooting gallery for you. Uh, your feet are planted onto this platform for the time being. Oh. And if you get hit too many times, you'll get knocked off. That's pretty funny. You won't die, but you'll start taking a lot of damage, and, well, you wouldn't like that, would you? Ready? Who needs a Lynx crossbow training when you got a Samus' crossbow training? A whole hive of blue war wasps, what the fuck? Quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. Ding! Ding! Yeah, that's about it. Wait, it's over? It's it's over. Take care of those, pet, those uh, pedestals and that's it. Did I tell you that I almost won the best prize at a shooting gallery game? You know, where you have to knock down the, the cans yeah. or whatever? I was off by one. They probably, just, they probably made it that way. Most likely, Can never yeah. shoot that last one. 
so close. I was dead on. And then just kind of like, ooh. Oh, this is... Wow. Ooh. All fr force fields. It's a force field maze. Very simple, very basic in its design, but yeah. it looks cool. It's, it's yeah, it does. interesting. What's not cool is the, is the uh, challenge they want you to do. What's that? You gotta take your Imperialist, and you gotta position yourself somewhere in this maze that you can shoot those uh, th those uh, little spots up there. All of them at the same time? Not or? at the same time. No, no, no. Okay, cool. But just you got you got to position yourself just so, and the walls are are too high. It's it's oh, it's maddening sometimes. Yeah, just yeah, well, just gotta hang on. Yeah. Do you remember the igloo from Mario sixty four? Yeah, I'm reminded of that too. Yep. Can I? Isn't that the one you already got? No, that's not. Eh, eh, come on, eh. It feels like no matter where I go, I can't get a good shot of any of them. Oh, wait. Yeah, there we How go. How about that one, though? But you... Th there's gotta be an easier way. Like, I'm, I'm doing some stupid jumps here and get some weird corner clips to get these. <laughs> I want to think there's somewhere in the maze you can stand that you can get a good shot of it. But... It's just not happening. Find your own results. Oh, wait. It looks like you can climb on some of them. Yeah! That one, but it's still not high enough, though. Maybe I can get up. Oh, that one's right in the way. So we just go. Nope. Wall in the way. Too high. Fuck. Well, maybe you can clip it. The maze isn't that hard. No. It's again neat idea. Execution needs work. IMO. <laughs> I just want in the, the walls are just a little bit shorter. I just went in the middle. Oh wait, there we go. Yeah, so this is what I mean. There's like there should be a spot where you can shoot them all, but all that did was open up that little portal down there, though. So we gotta make our way through the maze again. I was just about to say, how do you get through the to the portal? Down here, I'm here. Jump right here, here, right here, right here, right, right, here, right here. here, through here, to right here, through here. Right there we go. That wasn't too bad. Kind of annoying, but not too bad. That's the game. Kind of annoying, but not too bad. Six out of ten. Sure. <laughs> you don't have missile to, upgrade! You don't have to agree with me. Was that all for a missile? No. Okay, cool. It's all for the third artifact. Oh, uh, okay. Which is here. Ooh. Oh. I like this tunnel. Oh, yeah. They had good artists working on the environments. Yeah, he's not fired. Level designer totally is. Mm hmm Sorry about it, dude. Mm. I wonder if this was a skeleton crew. You know, I don't know. Let's see. Retro had already made Metroid Prime 2. I think they were working on 3, because Metroid Prime 2 famously had very little development time. Mm-hmm. What was it, 8 months? Oh, only 8? Oh, god, I don't know. I thought it was 18. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense than 8. 8 months to make Metroid? Are you kidding? Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. Thinking of ET. Even then, I don't think, I don't think it was. That, that, might have been eight, that might have been eight weeks. <laughs> we got two months to make a game. Don't worry, it'll sell gangbusters. Wasn't it, uh. Whoa. So the force field disappear, but a shit ton of guardians appear. Oh, cool, bring it. Judicator takes them out with almost one shot. Hi, boom. Hello, boom. It's 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 pathetic. Yeah, I kind of love this. There's one guy taking pot shots from you on the roof. You gonna accept that? I gotta oh. use a battle hammer. Excuse me. Can you come over here and? Uh... Okay, okay, guys. Look here. I'm trying to do something. Like, you guys, you guys, fucking mind. There we go. It's like uh, the kids go to the grandparents, get hopped up on sugar. It's like, okay, it's time to go back to your parents now. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. So, what you could do... Is you could do the shooting gallery thing again. Because when you're... They'll lock you into place again. Or you can go into Morph Ball. Shown here. And say, fuck that. 
but this is all hurty water. <laughs> so now it's a game of can you take as little damage as possible? Well, it's a second game. You know, this is this is hard mode. I just say keep tapping the touch screen so and that jump. you're always jumping. Yeah. So you always take only one damage when you get hit. What an exploit. Oops. There. Got it. We did this all for a reason, not just to save time, but also because if we jump up here, we can get this universal oh ammo, and that's the penultimate one! Oh my god. Alright. I, I never would have known that was there, because I I try to be a perfectionist in some games. But then again, if I you know, failed at shooting, I'd probably get it by accident. Did you see the portal? I did. Let's take a quick save. Might need it, you never know. And we're good to go! Take me back. All right. Bring it on, whoever's the boss. Probably another eyeball or a tower or something. Well, we only have two left. We have an eyeball and a tower left, which means that the eyeball and tower we're going to be fighting are going to be the strongest iterations of those of those bosses. Bring it. Put me in, coach. I can take him. So, uh, might as well spoil it. Eyeball. Nope. Tower. Really? This is the strongest creative thing. Okay. That probably means, like, strongest hamster. Which means I'd use the same tactic as last time. Yeah, just, just shoot it a bunch. And use shock coil. Wow, another tower! Wow! But this tower does something a little different. It probably shoots lightning! Nope. It moves! <laughs> it moves! <laughs> So, the lasers, whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah. The, the the plasma balls. Okay, fine. Don't get hit by the tower. How much damage? I don't know how much damage, but it hurts the most. Okay. Touching that tower directly is what does the most damage. The lasers, all that is, it's... It's, 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 it's piddly not. damage. It's meant to annoy, not to actually maim. Well, at least I, 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 have, to, I have something to look forward to. No more tower. I do like this version better, because it's moving, it feels more dynamic. Yeah, this is actually something. It's it's way less static, I'm having a lot more fun here. Yeah, you actively have to dodge out of the way, this is great. I never thought I'd be congratulating Nintendo on creating a tower enemy. This feels like it should have been like, you know, version 2 or something. You yes! Know? Like the last gonna... one just unleashes an Armageddon spell. Alright, please die. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that was about the same amount of damage. It's, it's moving a lot, though, so I'm not hitting the shock coil as hard as I should. You, hit, you hitting the shock coil, bro? Yeah, yeah, my doctor says I gotta quit, though. <laughs> <laughs> Why, are you getting too ripped? No, it's firing too many neurons. If you're looking to, be, to rid yourself of shock coil dependence, <laughs> try the Imperialist. <laughs> the ultimate in the shock coil experience. I gotta tell you, I am I am a I am a big imperialist. I, I I'm just like the biggest imperialist that you could ever hope to. In why game. Why is it? Why is, it, why is, why is everybody looking at me weird? In game. What? I'm just I'm just saying what a big imperialist I am. Uh huh. Yeah, I love the imperialist. Oh, the imperialist. Oh, okay. No, we don't have to send him to jail. What? Please, hey, please. I'm, Shit. I'm begging oh, you. I messed it up. I'm begging oh, you. Oh no, I messed it up. <sighs> All right. Well. It was fun while it lasted. No longer enjoying myself. We just oh, got, who am I kidding? It's it's just a repeat of the second uh, second phase. No big deal. Yeah, what would you do for your own version of a version three and a version four? Because if this was version two, I'd be perfectly okay with it. Here's my thought. Yeah. You have four different bosses. Okay. Already improving. I don't. Know. Might have to do something kind of kind of samey, but the first version of these bosses should be immobile. Right, version they, one they should not move. They should be defeated by the weapons that you've that you've that you've acquired. But the second version, it moves around. So, like, like you know, we're, we're in Arcterra. We'll say that you know, Creative version one was the first time we were here, and now this version we're fighting for the second one because ooh, it's harder, and ooh, we got so no. many. You know, it increases variety. It uh, keeps it from being so samey because you know, essentially, versions two and three of this boss are kind of the same. But I'm, I'm also thinking, like, did they cram in this game as much as they possibly could? 
See, now that you got me thinking about that, I wonder if the reason there are repeating bosses is a memory issue. Oh, sure. It could, it could be a time issue, because it was already proven to be pretty costly, as, as, as it is. Like, this right here, this probably caught, like, the four different versions of this... If you actually did make four separate versions, because, you know, adding attacks to a tower does not a, a lot of memory make or take, but what do I know? I didn't develop it. I have a fear that when, before Nintendo restarted Metroid Prime 4, it was looking a lot like this. <sighs> Maybe not exactly, but, you know, like this. I, yes, I, it has Metroid Prime. Yeah. Yes, you do things that you do in Metroid Prime, but it doesn't feel like a Metroid game. It feels like a regular action shooter. I wonder when they all came together and said, this isn't working. I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall for that meeting. Number seven. Number seven. Oh, right. I need to take a bet. Uh, they gave you... I'm going to say six minutes. Six minutes? Yeah, that's my bet. <laughs> Two and a half, then. Uh, uh, final answer, three. Final answer, three, huh? Three minutes. Well, it isn't anywhere that mean. End was upon us all. It's nowhere near that mean, don't worry. Okay. Four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I... <laughs> three and a half minutes. Yeah, four Yo, minutes. Yo, four minutes, all right! <laughs> four, four minutes. N not too bad, though, because nah, you good. can just make a beeline. Yeah, this, this seems pretty easy. If you've deactivated the portal, though, or, or, or the force field at the, in that one room, that'll save a lot of time, too. Yeah. Don't so, worry about the spotters. They, they're, they're gonna make a lot of a lot of loud noises, but don't worry about them. They're gonna la 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 la. Maybe not here because we killed them all, but just just, just 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 don't worry about it. Only worry about the hunt, the, the guardians and the hunters. They're the ones who can lock doors and uh, keep you from leaving. You just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. So that releasing of the force field is like paramount. You kind of have to. Well, yeah. You, you can either do it now when you have time, or you can do it later when uh, you're pressed for time and you're stressed and you can't aim so well and you take you and you. And then everything hurts, and I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. There we go. Oh, that was so easy. Yeah, it's fine. Unless a guardian shows up, like right now. Gurria's here? <laughs> no! That has been the whole time. The Dark Samus? No! <laughs> Wait, who? Oh no! Twelve Ridleys! Uh, oh, is this a ROM hack? Metroid Prime Hunter's impossible. Say hello to Meta Ridley, <laughs> Mota Ridley, Mata Ridley, Mitta Ridley, Mata Ridley. <laughs> Tomato Ridley. I don't know why we brought him along, but yeah, it works. Ridley Scott. Ridley's believe it or not. <laughs> Ridley R from Alien. Ridley me this, Batman. <laughs> Hey, well, congratulations on getting away from another planet. Yeah, we did it. Next time on Metroid Prime Hunters, the last Octolith. It's going to be great. God. See you then. This game's so short. Woo!